So after you created your budget cycles, then you can go ahead and complete the budget control configuration. And at this stage, this is the last piece for the first section of my discussion regarding the budgeting, which is budget management. So I can do the demonstration right after. As you see, for the newly created legal entity, I don't have any budget control whatsoever. Credit draft version of it, pick and choose the account structure of my choice. Right from here, if you be observant enough, you realize that one legal entity can have multiple account structure. If you recall, if I go back to the ledger form, you could have added as many as account structures. And as a reminder, the main account could not overlap between account structures. The catch here is when you're dealing with budget control configuration, if you have multiple account structure, you can only associate the entire budget control for this legal entity based on one of these account structures, not multi. When you design the structure, you need to discuss this with the customer to understand if they are interested in order to make certain financial dimensions to be as part of their budget control management, then they need to make sure that they put it on a particular account structure that they can use not only for their daily activity, but also for their budgeting. Or they may have a different series of accounts related to a different account structure that they would like to do the budgeting against. Now, as you notice, this is basically giving me the capability to see what are the dimensions available for budgeting here. And if you don't select any budget control dimension, budget control is not completed. Now, I'm going to choose department here, and I say I would like to have my budgeting based on departments. Pay attention that the main account is not selected to be budget control. That means you need to select your main accounts and you have to say which main account are you interested in order to have the budget control to look into, like computer expenses perhaps, training expenses maybe, etc. But if I go back to the define parameter and I add main account in the Microsoft team decided not to show you anything at all. And what does that mean? It actually means all the main accounts are subjected for budget control anyway, so there is no meaning for you to select anything. If that was up to me, I would have basically shown that information a bit differently. Like if I would have added the main account, like I did now, I assume the main account is on your right hand side, but then I would have shown this like selecting all the checkbox but fading them all. That's what exactly it means. Remember, this will include all the main accounts coming from your chart of accounts, regardless of a specific account structure. Because remember, if you have multiple account structures, the range of each main account should be different per account structure. However, when it comes to budgeting, all main accounts are subjected for budgeting. I'm going to go back to define parameter and I keep it as it is, but within the select main account, I rather only pick and choose a few, such as computer expenses, training expenses, to be controlled. Based on what? Based on fiscal year, fiscal period, total budget. It's completely up to the discretion of the customer. 